It is an absolute beautiful morning. It's so quiet up here, so peaceful. Man, I love it. Anyways, we just got up here to the property, guys. Just got up here to the little cabin. I'm actually gonna do some squirrel hunting today. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is literally probably my fifth trip up here and I have not killed a single squirrel. But to my defense, every time I've been up here, it's been raining, sprinkling. I just ain't been able to time it right. I, I'll come up here thinking we're gonna have a little window where it's gonna be nice and clear. Starts raining. I'll see one or two squirrels, you know, in the distance, take a shot and miss them. I've been using iron sights, but the last time we were up here, I put a scope on this other 22 and uh, me and Bubba got that thing dialed in pretty good. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of hunting with a scope and I'm hoping with this sun being out today and it this nice and clear and pretty that these squirrels are gonna be out moving. Uh, it's, it's cold, it's in the 50s and that's usually when these squirrels up here start, you know, running around, finding nuts, you know, going into these burrows in these trees and, and I guess getting ready for winter. Um, so we're just gonna try to have a little bit of fun, do a little hunting, see if we can, you know, get us four or five squirrels. I'm wanting to make some squirrel dumplings so i am going to wear an orange vest today the last couple of times we come up here we did notice that someone has been up here i mean poaching on the property someone's hunting the property i guess they know we ain't been up here in some time they've been hunting it hard guys they've been hunting it hard we haven't killed a deer on this land ever since we've owned it 30 something years and it kind of sucks and it makes you really mad that someone's killing deer on your property big bucks too we know there's some good bucks up here We've found tons of rubs, tons of scrapes, and we've seen, you know, the deer presence up here because they know there's no one here. Well, we've had someone move in behind us. Uh, either they're renting it or they bought it, we're not sure. We've never met them. And we just noticed they were here maybe a month ago. And we found about five trees that's had deer stands and we found two spots that's had blinds on our property. So uh, it's time to get back up here you know, let our presence be known, know that, you know, let them know that we are up here, we're on this property, and put a stop to it, because, I mean, it just sucks, I was, I ain't even killed a deer yet, I was going to kill my first buck on this property that I've been coming up to since I was, you know, kind of, I can even remember, two or three years old, and I was wanting my first buck to be up here, and uh, got 37 acres, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk this ridge line of the entire property, and then cut back down right here beside me, see if we can find some squirrels, I'm going to get this gun loaded up with some ammo, I'm going to get these cameras ready, and we're going to venture off, guys, and see if we can get us a few today. So let's get after it. Let's have a little fun before we got to go get the kids from school. And uh, like I said, see if we can get four or five. So let's go. I've got this I've got this camera set up on the side of the 22, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool view right here. So you guys will be able to see me if I, you know, make stupid faces or hopefully be able to hear me talking a little bit better, too. I'll switch back and forth from this camera to the head camera. So I mowed over this trail the last time I was up here, right up through here that leads up to the top of the hill. And I've noticed those deer are taking this path right up through here. I could probably come up here and just set up a blind. Probably kill me a really good deer. Cause there's definitely been a buck coming. I mean, right through here, there's been a buck. Cause there's a rub right here on the side of this tree right up here. I think he's coming up his power line. See, if you look, he's been coming right up through here. And there's a little, he's rubbed that tree right there. There's so many little game trails cutting all over these hills where these deer are coming through just different directions all over the place. You gotta think, there's no one that hunts the property. And out of the last 15 years, we've only come up here a couple years. So these deer ain't really had to worry about nobody other than surrounding neighbors.
Y'all hear that? It's deer. Right there. I just jumped those deer, guys. That looked like a big old buck. You can still hear him. Let's make our way on. We're going to go down, and then we're going to cut up this ridge. There's really no point in hiking this. It's so tall and steep. I don't see many uh, squirrels over that way. So we're going to go over here and cut up the middle of this. I don't know if you can tell from here, but there's a ridge that runs around our entire property, and it's an old road bed from the loggers. And we use it as a four-wheeling trail, but that's those deer are kind of traveling that. They're cutting up some of these valleys, and then they're cutting down that road bed. There's a bunch of big oak trees and stuff up here, acorns, walnuts. That's what makes it challenging. By the time I get to the top of this hill and I see a couple squirrels, I'm so out of breath hiking up the side of this mountain, I can't keep the gun steady. If we wait here long enough, those squirrels might come back through here. See if we can find this one really quick. There he is. There it is. First one we got. Now to get back up this steep hill. one I'm gonna try to hurry up and get back down to the little cabin I'm gonna drop this squirrel off in this big camera 
I'll have about an hour to kind of hunt around up into this little back cove and see if we can get one more. I'd like to at least have two squirrels, maybe three. So let's try to get down here, do a little bit more before we actually got to leave. I just went down Ugh. these hills I'm telling y'all they're steep and slippery like I ain't playing that's why the squirrel hunting so challenging you've got these big giant deep coves and and they're some of them once you go down the side of the hill they're almost straight up and down <laughs> See if we can go get one more really quick right here. We got about 30 minutes and we need to come back. See if we can side in this other 22 and get out of here. I'm telling y'all, it's a challenge to kill these squirrel over here. I've seen about four squirrels today and took shots at them. Finally hit one. Finally. We done been all over this hillside. Top to bottom, down the coves. Missed three squirrels, maybe four. Had spiders crawling on us. A little bit of everything. I'm still trying to see if I can see this one right here, but I'm not seeing it. I may work my way, instead of going back down where I just come from, away, work back around and see if we have one more opportunity before we gotta go. I need to get that other 22 sided in for my granddad too. I'll put a scope on it and uh, I'd like to get that thing sided in for him. All right, let's grab this screw and work away on the rim. All right, guys, I got a little knife. Play knife. We're gonna get these things. We're gonna get these things gutted and cleaned up really quick so we can get out of here. I'm not gonna show that on camera, obviously. I can see big bluegill sitting here staring at me down here in the water right now too. Pretty awesome. But uh, let's get this done and hit the road. All right, guys. I'm recording this on my phone. We just got those squirrels gutted and cleaned up. 
I had to kind of rush and get back to the house. Got to get the kids from school. So once I get home, I'm going to get these squirrels put into a crock pot with some broth. We're going to let those things slow cook for about four or five hours until the meat starts coming off the bones. I'm going to pick that meat and stuff out, throw those things back in there, add some carrots, add some onions, add some garlic, add some celery, and then let that stuff cook for a minute and then we'll add some dumplings and uh, I'll let you guys my initial thought on squirrel dumplings. I've never had them, so I want to try them, give them a go and see how they taste. Like I said, I'll let you guys know and I'll show you all what it looks like when it's done. So hopefully it turns out pretty good and hopefully I can get the kids and the wife and stuff to try it as well. So, but let's get home and then I'll get all that stuff started and I'll show y'all kind of the process. All right, I got these things cleaned up as good as I can. I'm just gonna add some salt, some garlic salt, some seasoning salt. Let these things soak for a little while. I'm gonna throw them in the fridge. Throw some good salt in here just to help tenderize that meat and stuff a little bit and some seasoning salt and stuff. And the good, good stuff right there. It's got a little spice to it too. All right guys, squirrel is in the crock pot. I just cut up some fresh garlic, a whole clove. So quite a bit of garlic, I done put a little bit in there, but they're in the crock pot guys. So I'm gonna let this cook for probably like five hours or at least until the meat's coming off the bone. So like I said, this is my first time ever doing this. So we're winging it right now, but hopefully it turns out pretty good. And that's pretty much some dark meat chicken right there guys. It's ready to roll. I'm gonna pick all the meat because it's, you know, there's a bunch of bones in there. So I'm just going to pick all the meat out, throw it in a different pot, add some celery, carrots, and some dumplings, and we'll have us some squirrel dumplings. All right, we've got our broth from the squirrel. We've got some carrots and some celery. I'm about to chop this up, add that to the broth. I'm going to let this boil, and then I'm going to add some dumplings, and then I'm going to throw the meat in there, guys. And like I said, we will be ready to eat some squirrel dumplings. I'm pretty excited to try it, so... For two squirrels, that's actually quite a bit of meat. There's a little bit left. I had to really pick through the bones, but that's a big old pile of meat right there for two squirrels. I mean, a man could live survive off that, I'd say. <laughs> we're gonna let these dumplings cook for just a minute, and then we're gonna add the meat and then turn it down and just let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, and we'll be ready to grub. Well, there you have it guys, some squirrel dumplings. This stuff is almost done. I'm about to uh, let it finish off and maybe a big bowl. Bubba, you gonna eat a bowl? You gonna eat a bowl? All right, good deal. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Please subscribe, please like. Like I said, if you all like this type of video, just let me know. Uh, we probably won't do a ton of these videos, mostly be fishing and stuff, but I have fun getting out there, hunting those squirrels, running through those hills. And it's always good to just kind of get away for a minute by yourself and just chill out. So anyways, see you guys. Peace.